Hi, it's Redheaded Riding Hood here, Red for short. I'm going to read you William Barclay's Daily Celebration. This is called Wrong Directions. Very interesting. These have been very applicable to my life lately. Because um, I just shared... I just shared some Joyce Meyer messages on my community tab about staying in your lane. And um, I really feel it was time. Probably it was overdue. I probably should have quit that job sooner. Um, but um, I don't like to be, I don't like to be a quitter. And um, yeah, I. It was time. It was good and I'm glad I did it. Um, it was time for me to quit. I wasn't having any time to write. I wasn't having um, any time to do my YouTube. My YouTube watch time started going down. And so, um, and then like last week I got sick. Last week I worked 35 hours. One day I worked 11 hours. I worked 5.15 a.m. till four. And I, you know, I'm just exhausted. And now I was going to go to California on uh, yesterday, <laughs> but I'm not leaving until tomorrow. So today I'm getting ready and I'm gonna read this to you. And I hope to, I'm going to keep doing these while I'm in California. Um, we often try to get to our destination in life by going in precisely the wrong direction. <laughs> See, this is applicable. It is not the, ca the case that we may well be taking the wrong direction on the road to happiness. There never was an age in which, which put its trust so much in material things maybe now, even more so. We think we will be happy if we get more pay, if we get a new television set, if we at last acquire a car or a house of our own, if we manage this year to have an expensive holiday abroad or something like that. And yet a man has signally failed to learn the lesson of life if he does not see that it is not in the power of things to bring happiness to anyone. You will remember the old story of the king who was dying of melancholy. The doctors tried every cure, and then it was suggested that the king's mel melancholy could be cured if he managed to procure and to wear the shirt of a perfectly happy man. So a search was made throughout his realm for a perfectly happy man. At last they found such a man. He was a tramp on the road, bronzed, carefree, utterly happy. They offered him any prize he cared to name for his shirt, only to find that the happy tramp did not possess a shirt to his back. <laughs> it's funny. The way to happiness is in a right relationship with oneself and with one's fellow men. And we will never get that from things. We will never, never get it apart from Jesus Christ. Is it not possible that we may be taking the wrong direction on the road to satisfaction? We are living in a time when the general opinion seems to be that the less work a man does, the happier he will be. I don't believe that. I feel like there's a lot of workaholics too, and they're out of balance also. We want shorter hours. We want to put a break on work and effort. We want to take things easily. Surely the lesson of life is that the way to satisfaction is through hard work and not through dodging work. The discontent, the unrest, which is abroad today may well be due to nothing other than the boredom and the loss of self-respect, which are bound to enter life when a man is putting far less than his best and his whole effort into the work that he has to do. The way to satisfaction is not by easier, but by harder work. I think there's a balance here too, because I can even tend towards workaholism. And I know from 
and I feel like it's from being raised by a narcissist. My ex was raised by a narcissist and he is a narcissist and he's a workaholic and an alcoholic. My brother is a workaholic. He was raised by a narcissist and I felt like it was an effort to please my dad, but you never, you never please a narcissist. That's the thing. And I, and I, I worked hard too at things, you know, I worked hard at being a mother. I worked hard at uh, being a good cook, being a good wife, you know, taking on, it was just, I've been striving my whole life. I feel like it's finally time. I'm like, it's time for me to chill. Like stop trying to please everybody, do what everybody wants. You can't please them anyways. And so that's what I'm getting out of this too. Um, the word conversion literally means a turning around about. To be converted means to alter the whole direction of life. It means that we were going in one direction and we make a right about turn start off in the other direction. What are the two directions? The wrong direction is when we are facing ourselves. The right direction is when we are facing God. That's another point I'd like to make in that people will say, oh, you know what, but you know, you want to do this and you want to do that and you, you need to make money so you can do this and and this is what you need to do next. I feel it's my belief that God can guide you, that we can be guided by God. And the bottom line is not, what do you think I should be doing or what do you want me to do? Um, but it's where is God directing me? And then you can just say to these, all these people telling you what to do is like, that's not the direction God is taking me. Sorry. Um, yeah, there's a verse in Acts that says we must please God rather than man. And um, it's been a hard lesson to learn to not people please and try to just earn something and um, when I separated from my husband the thing that he was complaining about was um, me not getting a job and it was so ridiculous and unfair because for years he did not and discouraged me from ever getting a job. He did not want me to get a job. He'd say, you have a job. Or he'd say, why should you go to work and earn minimum wage when I make $50 an hour and I can just work overtime? And that's what he did. And he was a workaholic and he made good money. And um, I am thankful for that. Um, <laughs> and I'm doing, I'm doing a little series. Um, I'm starting a series on he might be a narcissist if, and it's not going to be just focused on one narcissist. So I have little, little snippets, little stories about my dad, little stories about other narcissists that I've met. And, um, it should be, it should be kind of fun, but poking fun at me too. Like, duh, <laughs> like, duh. Um, but so, um, yeah it's a uh, direction that was about direction so god can lead us wrong directions that's what this one was called very interesting so i'm going in a different direction <laughs> and um i'm thinking of going i might go live tonight i'm thinking about that but i am i'm packing so I need to go to the grocery store. I'm going to get um, bread and lunch meat and cheese so I don't have to, you know, eat a lot of fast food on the road. Um, you know, some healthy snacks. I'm going to um, pack 
so um but yeah i might i might go live for an hour i need to work on my watch time so and i enjoy going live <laughs> I, I do. I enjoy that. Um, I was starting to not enjoy my job lifeguarding anymore. Every day it was one thing or another. And it, you know, I was trying to maintain a positive attitude. And I'm like, I'm not, I don't want to rush back. Well, I probably am going to come back though to save money. But I was like, I don't want to have to rush back to go back to this job because I was scheduled three days at the end of June so I just gave them my notice <laughs> yay it was stressing me out it was depress it was starting to depress me you know and um so yeah that's what's up with red um look for me possibly to go live tonight <laughs> and I'm going to California tomorrow so don't say that no one cares for you because I do and God does too. Don't forget to pray for Red because Red is praying for you. Bye.